right, so we're going to start with our community survey for the 2020. Uh, the, obviously, the goal here, next slide. Uh, the goal here in our annual survey is to gain an understanding and the views of the uh, preferences of residents. Um, this effort supports our city's 2017 through 2021 strategic plan focus um, and area of communication. Uh, the survey was administered online via Google Forms. No paper responses this, uh, at this time or shared public computers uh, due to the pandemic. Next. So as you can see, the future years of questions, content within the community survey will work uh, in tandem with the, up, with the update of the strategic plan. As this was to be the last year of our strategic plan, this, this is supposed to be uh, the last year, but we will be extending our original 2017 to 21. This is to allow the strategic planning uh, for vendor support to allow for a 2021 to aid in internal development that we're doing within the city. Next. Of the, th of the 39,256 residents, ages 18 and older, the participation rate was, um, was 1,540, or 3.9%. We need to focus on additional means to communicate to our citizens. Lack of, um, lack of contact is a, is a lack of true detail and wants from our constituents. So as you can see, assuming randomness of, of responses and results projected at 95%, uh, certain with a plus or minus 3% margin of error. Next. Here we basically have uh, how we rated it for questions that were 0 to 10 scale, excellent, 10, 9, or 8, good, 7, 6, fair, 5, 4, 3, and then poor, which we don't want to talk about, is a 2, 1, or 0. Next. As I stated before, the history and the number of responses from 2016 from 680 of our constituents' involvement to 2021 of 1540 uh, is, a, is a start, but we have a lot of work to do. The concern that I have with this is that this could be the same group year over year. Although 6% increase uh, approximately, we do need to have a broader citizen involvement You'll see why in just a few minutes. Next. So a promotion of the survey, the city um, and departmental websites and related social media outlets, the city hall, um, city hall atrium display monitor, city electronic message signs, again, difficult during a pandemic. Our cable channel, WSCS, uh, for those that view through our, our station. Our shoreline metro buses and transfer station monitor uh, for those that use our transit system. Community partners and agencies, our city staff members, and our newsletter and subscription list. Again, these are just a scratch of communication in the community and we need to improve on. We need more contact points. COVID doesn't help as well as a large population does not use these resources. So these are areas that we need to focus on as a, as, a, as a council. We need direct contact with our citizens, not just a website. Next. I do want to thank you. And thanks to all for promoting this communication because obviously with the communication that we did present, we did see an, inc an improvement. So thank you to all. Next. Our survey uh, participant demographics uh, really shows the city of Sheboygan and how, how the interaction is. I really would like to see in the future more interaction on the first three categories versus the ages 56 to 65. Although they do add a lot to the value of the city and the community, again, this shows how we need to better, um, better citizen interaction and participation. And you'll see why in just a second. Next. Again, survey participant demographics. Again, uh, the majority of the group was white, white Caucasian. Um, there's quite a bit of areas within our community that are, are growing that we need additional participation. And again, this is where we need to all reach out 
and have more boots on the ground when it comes to communication and maybe in different formats. Next. When I touched earlier on the participant participation, you can also see that the survey of participant demographics kind of ref references uh, two slides prior. So when we talk about the group and, and the longevity of our, of our um, citizens, 25 plus years seems to be the majority of that, which falls what I would say into the, into the grouping of the um, 56 to 65 age category. We really need to find out more from those less than two years, two to five, and six to 10. That's the demographic that we really need to focus on. We need to hear more from our newer Sheboyganites. What are we doing right? What do we need to improve? And why you moved here? Besides it being the greatest place on earth, right? So then we can improve once we have that information. Next. So quality of life. Again, 82% of the survey participants indicated the quality of life was excellent to good. And that's great. But we really need to focus on why do we still have 15.3% in fair, 2.2% in poor, and 0.5% in no response. We're doing great things, but we need to hear from more people in more areas. Next. City's general direction, again, 79.7% of the survey participants indicated the city's general direction was improving and steady. That's great from a, from a high level. The concern that I have is that some, some of the participant demographics didn't, didn't like the change that, ha that has happened, in my opinion. Some in that area don't like change, period. Need to hear from those that are using the amenities. Again, those younger generation, the people that have lived here, you know, less than 10 years. Next. Overall performance. Again, 76% of respondents indicated overall performance of the city as excellent and good, which is great. Great job to our city staff and team. Again, please remember the majority of the group that um, took the survey are the 56 to 65. We really need to hear from our, our, our younger Sheboyganites to the community. Next. Priorities and effectiveness. Focusing on priorities. You can see that 25.6% uh, is excellent and 33.4% is, is good. But we still need to focus on the fair and poor because that's where we, we can improve our community. Because if we can focus on our fair and our poor, there's 40% right there. Delivering services efficiently. Again, 41.6, excellent. 31.2% good. But if we can pull in another 25, 26% just by focusing on our fair to poor, what are we doing that's not hitting the, the high marks? Next. Informing and, and managing. Keeping our residents informed. Again, how do we communicate? How do we communicate to all of our, all of our, um, all of our con constituents and how do we communicate even better? So keeping residents informed, again, 37.2 and 30.8. So they're basically saying we do it, we're doing a great job. But then there's 20, 30% if you take the uh, fair to poor and you combine those. That's a, that's a large population that's not looking at how we communicate very well. Managing taxpayers' money, again, 27.8, excellent, 34%, good. But again, 28.9 and 6.9 6 is fair and poor. So again, lots of room for improvement. Next. Community survey service levels ranked as excellent and good. So zoning land use, 54.5, all the way through our city our overall city administration, 67.9. Even our transit services is 67.7. So people like what we're doing, but we're still missing a little bit yet. Next. Service levels ranked as excellent and good. Community, community events, street maintenance, recycling garbage. And just, we have to remember that we have the new cart system that has been a hit. 
I know that was a controversy for quite a few years for all of us. Attracting business, 62%. Again, lots of room for improvement there. Only complaint, seagulls are hungry. Look for this, looking at the city, it's much, much better, much cleaner. Next. So department ratings, and we'll go through these. As you can see, they're in alphabetical order. <clears throat> And you can see the assessors, building, uh, building inspection, city administrator's office, um, all the way down to uh, common council. Next. Finance, fire department, mayor's office, down to uh, planning and development. Next. Police department, public works, senior services, shoreline metro, and water utility. So out of those three slides, fire department for 2021, was number one at 8.57. The library was number two at 8.08. .08. Police was number three at 7.85. The water utility was number four at 7.74. And public works was at 7.48. Unfortunately, city administrator was not rated. Next. <laughs> so when we talk about our top five sources of city information, again, we get excited about our website, social media, the Sheboygan Sun. We talk about the Sheboygan Press, the Sheboygan Insider Newsletter, and WHBL. Those are our top five. We as a community need to continue to in extend our technology to our, our constituents. There's a lot more ways to communicate. Um, and the, you can see these top five in the demographics that we showed earlier. Next. So the community has told us our, four, our foremost frequently mentioned critical uh, project initiatives. I think number one uh, that I've, I've talked about with you is our number one uh, failure, and that's our street repairs. Again, budget constraints, right? Affordable housing comes up quite often. We need to better understand that and what it means. Business development. Again, we're in a COVID situation, but business is developing. Things are happening. It's just taking a little bit longer. Diversity, equity, and inclusion. I think that's all communities' goal to improve that and include it and make everything a much better community for all. Next. Our Chamber Cash winner. So we have to say congratulations to Amy and her daughter, Finley. It's so great to actually see the families that are behind the people that take our, our actual our surveys. Next. So according to Amy, my husband and I both grew up in Sheboygan, but we moved away during our college years. It happens so often, right? As soon as we started our family, we knew we wanted to move back to Sheboygan. It's such a wonderful place to raise a family. How many times do we hear that from everybody that comes to Sheboygan? Our number one thing is a great place to live, work, and play, and raise a family. And we have so much to be proud of. Next. I just wanted to say thank you for everybody's um, participation in this. And I hope that next year we'll be able to do even better with our community survey. Thank you.